Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the video. Uh, so I'm essentially starting a new series on AWS Glue. Uh, this is going to be a complete hands-on exercise and hands-on guide where we'll be exploring dynamic frame, how to read data, how to write data, how to do um, some uh, data cleaning process in Glue, right? I'll be also assuming that you have no prior knowledge. And the first and foremost thing that I'm going to do is give you a, just an introduction of what Glue is and then I'm gonna refresh your memory on Spark. So this is the first video or an introductory video. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, let me share my screen. So first let's watch a video, uh, what Glue is all about, okay? So I'm gonna play the video and let's watch it. I'm Jeff Barr, and I'm here to announce the general availability of AWS Glue. AWS Glue is a serverless, fully managed, and cloud-optimized Extract, Transform, and Load, or ETL service. One of the hardest parts of an analytics or data warehousing project is setting up and maintaining a reliable ETL process. Glue helps you understand your data, suggests transformations, and generates ETL code so you spend less time hand coding. Glue's flexible scheduler runs your ETL jobs on a scale-out Spark platform automatically provisioning the resources needed to complete them. Glue includes a data catalog, basically a central metadata repository, an ETL engine that can auto-generate Python code, and a flexible scheduler that handles dependency resolution, job monitoring, and retries. Together, these automate much of the heavy lifting involved with discovering, categorizing, cleaning, enriching, and moving data. Less heavy lifting, more time for analysis. Glue automatically discovers your data, determines the schema, and builds your data catalog. The Glue Data Catalog provides out-of-the-box integration with Amazon Athena, Amazon EMR, and Amazon Redshift Spectrum. The ETL code Glue generates is just Python code that's entirely customizable, reusable, and portable. You can edit this code using your favorite IDE or notebook and share it with others using GitHub. Finally, Glue is serverless. There are no resources to manage, and you only pay for the resources your jobs consume while they run. To get started, simply visit the AWS Management Console and walk through one of our guided tutorials. So basically, a very nice video which shows what uh, Glue is all about, right? And again, as we progress down the course, I have amazing slides. So I'll be covering right from basics, right? So basically, we'll cover you know, what a dynamic frame is, what are the options in which you can read data, how to read data from the catalog, um, again, I have these slides and I also have like mini, mini labs. Uh, so to essentially talk more about this is, uh, this is rather just a first introduction video of what, what Glue is all about. Glue, again, as I said, in a, in an easy language, if I want to say, it's an ETL tool that makes your life much, much more easier. Moving data, transforming data, cleansing data, all of that makes easy. So this is the first video. The second video will be essentially refreshing your memory on PySpark because Glue heavily works on Spark. And hence it is important that we understand Spark and we are comfortable writing Spark code. So essentially we're gonna see how to read a data using a PySpark, right? A head, tail, apply some transformation, just the basic part, right? Once we are comfortable with PySpark, then we'll go to Glue we're gonna learn um, about particular, what is a dynamic frame, how to convert dynamic frame into an RDD, how to apply these transformations, then how to convert back into a, a dynamic frame, how to write the data to various uh, destinations such as Aurora, DynamoDB, and uh, S3, of course, very heavily used, and maybe Redshift also. So we'll also learn how to do ETL process, right? Uh, basically take the data, join two sources, cleanse the data, uh, then essentially uh, put it on the uh, destination, right? So all of that is there. We're also gonna learn about the infrastructure code. Once we write these glue jobs, as we go around tutorial 10, 11, 12, 13, we're gonna uh, write infrastructure code to deploy our glue script. So all of that is there, right? So you're gonna enjoy, just uh, hang on with this series. This is rather, I would say, a very first part, that is tutorial number one. The next few tutorials would be just like uh, refreshing your memory on PySpark, uh, and then and some, some of the basics. Once we are comfortable with the basics, then we'll start writing some complex code uh, uh, for sure. 
So join me on my YouTube channel for learning more about AWS Glue and I'll, I hope to see you on my uh, next upcoming videos on Glue. Thank you so much.